Hello, this is Glia Bakhmatov and today I want to show you how I create page objects. The first rule is don't create them before you write the task because you're not sure which page methods you're going to need really. Once I have a working test, I'll start refactoring and I'll start making page objects. So for example, here we have a test that resets the data, visits the page, waits for the page to load and then adds a to-do and confirms that the first to-do has a data attribute. Just a typical end-to-end -end test. I'm going to be running Cypress and I will make sure that the test is green before I start refactoring. So I'm going to push it to the side. Let's just make sure we see a little bit of the page as well. So this is a spec. Uh, my config picks up Cypress end-to-end tests following a you know, SciGS extension. So we can add a page object that Cypress will not see or think is a spec. So I'll say to do and say page JS. And I'm going to export uh, constant to do page. And I like named exports because it makes more sense to import uh, to do page from uh, to do page JavaScript so that you know exactly what you're getting. And, you know, every page that deals with to-do MVC probably needs to visit a page and wait for the data to load. So I'm going to move these two commands and I'll create a visit method in my page object. And here I'm going to replace and I'll say to-do page visit. Still green. While I'm refactoring, I want to be running tests again and again to make sure I'm not breaking something accidentally. What else can be useful to many tests? Probably adding a add to-do. So I will say add to-do, give it a title, and we're going to form the string using a template literal title. And because it takes an argument, I do like using just docs just to explain the types of arguments um, at least. So right here, I can say to do page add to do and the title matches. <coughs> Probably resetting the data so I don't have to remember which API call to make is a good candidate. So I'll say reset data. Okay. And we're going to just say to do page reset data. And the last one is returning items on the page so that the a uh, page object actually keeps the selector internally. So I'll say get to do's. And right here, instead of just getting those, I'm going to return the whole instance of Cypress chain so that I can add additional assertions and commands. So right here, I'm going to replace the first line of this long chain with get to do's and I can add assertions just like before. So if other commands just were returning void, and just execute Cypress commands and they execute it in order because Cypress enforces that. This method returns an instance of Cypress chainable that will yield a jQuery object and I can attach additional assertions to that page object command. So this is my approach to creating page objects in Cypress. I wait for at least a couple of tests just to see what common functionality for that page I need to access and then just create a simple object with static methods and call those methods from my specs.